Hi, and welcome to today's video, how to integrate Dataverse with Business Central. For first, let's start with what are the pre-requests. So first pre-request is for you to be sure that you have the Dataverse environment. So basically this could be the clean Dataverse environment or it could be Dataverse environment with some of the C applications already installed, but it is mandatory for you to have Dataverse environment. On the other side, of course, you have to have installed Business Central. And now the main part of integration is done in the Business Central side. So all you have to do is log into the Business Central and navigate yourself to the assisted setup. And you can of course extend this page. And now when we are in the assisted setup, you can see that in a part of connected with other systems, you can find set up a connection to Dataverse, connect to the Power BI, uh, set up integration to Dynamics 365 sales and the rest of the settings which you have available inside of the BC. But to start the base process of uh, setting up the system, uh, system synchronization is to go to the set up the connection to Dataverse. Of course, later on you have possibility to extend this integration to uh, Dynamics 365 sales to field service, but the integration with Dataverse is mandatory and you have to start with it. So when you click, you will see that you will be navigated with really easy wizard. All you have to do is walk yourself and then integration will be set it up. First of all, you have to, you have possibility to turn on or turn off the data synchronization. So if you have the data where you don't want to be synchronized or you want, you have to think about it. Do you want it or do you don't want it? We are working on a trial environment so we can easily sync data from both of the systems. We do not have any, any potential issue, but always be clear about that. Because if you turn, turn it off, then later on you can do it manually. You can go and set up from which table you want to synchronize data. And then you can decide what you really need and what you have to do. But if you turn it on immediately, he will synchronize all the tables which you are getting. So just be cautious and think about this. The next thing is that you have possibility to immediately enable virtual tables. Of course, if you keep on this switch, you will be later on navigated to the app source where you will be mandatory to install one solution. Everything is for free, but you will have some extra steps. But this is not mandatory step for turning on Dataverse integration. So let's switch off the virtual tables for now. Now, when we have set it up the type of the synchronization, how we want to be set it up at the beginning, let's just click next. Of course, you have to accept all privacy uh, and terms and conditions which Microsoft is providing. So just switch accept, otherwise you will not be able to continue and click next. From here, of course, one thing which you will have to check out is the URL of the Dataverse environment. Because this is a trial environment and we do not have multiple Dataverses, we know that this is the only one which we can synchronize. But if you have more than one and you want to synchronize the specific one, just take care about which Dataverse environment you want to synchronize. And the next step is that you have to sign in as administrator user. Just click on it. And if you have single sign on, the system will automatically pick up your login. After that, and after the system has uh, checked if you are admin user, all you have to do is click next. And from here, the system will do it in, on its own and he will bring the integration in total. Everything will be done in a couple of minutes if we are talking on a trial environment. If we are talking with real data environment, this could take a little bit longer because he has to synchronize the data. As you remember, we, we, kept, it, uh, we kept the on 
the data synchronization, but it is a synchronization. You have to wait some time and don't be afraid if you see in some moment, if you are talking about bigger set of data that uh, this process uh, went to the timeout because Business Central is automatically set it up to have some timeouts on uh, processes which he cannot finish in some uh, pre-required time, but the process will be staying in the back because it has already started and it will be done eventually. So just wait a little bit to finish the integration. And now, when the setup is done, you have again some options. First, you have possibility to choose team or person for the synchronization. I'm suggesting you to set up the team and if you are working on a demo environment, the team is the easier option because in a most of demo environment, the persons are not set up fully and then you will have to go and do the all step inside of the BC to set up the teams and the persons. But teams are already set up and the synchronization will be triggered properly, not based on specific users, but basically for the full environment. And then you also have possibility to complete synchronization with to complete setup of the synchronization without synchronization. We will turn it off currently because we want to synchronize the data. So from here, you just have to click next and again, wait really shortly to get to the next page and to see the status of the synchronization. And now when the process is over, all you have to do is to click finish. But before you do that, you have possibility to go to show synchronization recommendation and see the basic statuses of what was happening with the synchronization. Of course, here we can go a little bit deeper and see what is synchronized and in which directions. So basically what we can see on the right side, we, we see here the business central tables. After that, we see the data table. stable. So we see that contacts are synchronized to contacts and it is bidirectional synchronization. So it means that every single contact, it doesn't matter where it is created, it will be synchronized. Currencies are synchronized to transaction currencies inside of the dataverse and this is only two integration table. It means that currencies from the BC will be synchronized to the dataverse. Customers and vendors are synchronized to the accounts table because dataverse do not have the real difference on different tables with the customers and vendors, but you know that there is drop down field on dataverse where you can specify if some account is customer or vendor, but it is still on the account table. And it is important to know that both customers and vendors are bidirectionally synchronized to accounts. And also we have payment terms, shipping methods and shipping agents, which are basically the only synchronized to dataverse from the BC and these tables are synchronized on a level of the drop downs because we have on account level the payment terms, shipping methods and shipping agents, which we have to uh, which we are synchronizing because it is important to us to know what type of payment terms or shipping method or shipping agents our accounts are using. So from here, what you can also do is to go and check the coupling criteria. Of course, on the dataverse level, you will not have possibility to enter to all of these, but when you're doing the integration to the Nine 365 sales, you will have more options because we're talking about really bigger number of tables which are synchronized. But here for the contacts is the place where you can do it. And what this means, you're selecting the field, which is going to be the basic criteria for synchronization. It means that the system will create the new contact in this case, if there is no exactly the same one. It means that if they if the system finds the contact with same criteria, he will just update values if it is needed. So most reliable field here to check as the primary matching field is email because email is basically always 
unique for each single person. So we will match the email and of course we will turn on to synchronize this data after coupling and we will say that we want to turn on to system create new if system cannot find the similar one. Of course you have possibility to select more. It is not mandatory to select only one. For example, you can also select first name. You can find last name and the rest here it is last name. And then you can also specify the match priority. So you can say that email is priority one, first name is priority two, and the last name is priority three. So if you want to make it to make the checkings on a multiple levels, you have possibility to do that and the system will go and try to find the same email. If he cannot find, then he will try to find the first name, then last name. And he, if he cannot find the matchings, then he will create the new value. But let's turn it off because we, we want only to use the email on the demo environment. But you have multiple options. And let's switch on again. Let's click OK and the synchronization will be now done and the data will be transferred. We can click OK and from here we can click Finish. The system will be fastly check the data and he will start the integration. This was the last step and for the Dataverse integration the system will, will do everything on its own and you do not have to take care about anything else. You can wait just a couple of minutes or if you have really big databases, couple of hours, of course. And after that, the data will be synchronized and the synchronization will be set up. So from this moment on, when you start working and entering the data, the data will be synchronized with direction criteria which is set up in this data synchronization. Of course, there is always place to think about that you cannot change the fields which are synchronized, you cannot change the direction of the synchronization. Basically, this is what you're getting. You have possibility to just set some criteria, but if you want to extend or to add some extra fields or to add some custom tables, this has to be done by custom API code. On the side of the business central, you have to build custom API, which will allow that some tables or fields which are created to be exposed for data synchronization. And then when you do the custom code, you will be able to synchronize it custom, custom fields or extend the fields which you already have in the system. So basically, this is it. This is how you are setting up the Dataverse data synchronization from side of the BC to Dataverse. As you have seen, everything is done on the side of the BC and it is really straightforward process where you just have to follow the wizard. Thank you very much.